Hello, Leo. Welcome to my channel. This is Born of the Rose. It's a tarot, mostly channel. Um, I also offer Reiki healing and spirit guidance. My name is Dean, and welcome. Uh, spirit guides and ancestors. Uh, she. Please help me to tap into the collective energy for the zodiac sign of Leo. Uh, sun, moon, rising or Venus. <clears throat> Why am I speaking so softly? That's kind of strange. I'm usually very loud and outspoken. I got really soft there. Um, are some of you Leos needing to speak up about something? Maybe. Let's crack into this and find out what we, uh, what we need, what we got. I've cleared the energy of the space in between the last reading and now. Um, last one was <laughs> heavy. And yeah, I even had to take a break, get up, go make myself a tea, come back, hit the chimes again. Yeah, move some crystals around the board. Yeah, these things happen. The day in the life of a tarot reader and channel medium. There's more channeled messages in the last one than it was so much coming through the cards. The cards spoke a bit, but whew, intense. Anyway, let's leave that stuff then. And let's be in the now moment. Yeah. Because we're talking about you, Leo. You beautiful, beautiful being you. Yep. This is your reading about November. Well, I mean, today's the 28th of October. When I'm recording it, it'll probably get published on the 29th. It'll be up before the end of November, uh, October, is what I'm saying. So, whenever you're clicking on this video, it's good for, you know, a lunar cycle. Right now we're in the full moon. Full moon in Taurus. So, it'll be good until the next full moon. Or wherever you're at in your lunar cycle when you click on it. But, you know what I mean. About a month. The energies, overall general energies that you will be experiencing, dealing with, working with. Okay. Yeah, we're feeling it now. All right, we're going to do eight cards, Spirit. Eight cards. We're going to do the seven card rainbow and the pot of gold at the end. Woohoo! Leo, those unseen energies, we have the Four of Wands. Wonderful card. Very stable. Stabilized energies. And uh, this is the Steampunk Tarot. Cutest little thing in the guidebook for that one. It says, if you're not having fun, it's your own silly fault. There's something in that for us, Leo. I, I'm a Leo moon, so I, I get that Leo energy. I, my best friend's a Leo. Um, a lot of Leos in my life. Leo, dated a Leo rising for a while. It's one of the most beautiful humans I've ever known. Ah, that tea is nice. <sighs> okay, let's get into it. So, at the foundation, at the root, ooh, I have a four of cups. Yeah, it's our foundational space for this, for this energetic situation or energetic mode or modality that you're going to be experiencing through the next month. The emotions, um, Nine of Pentacles. That's some stable emotions. That's, I feel very comfortable. I feel very confident in what I have. 
I don't lack for anything. I have enough to... And that, that's a nice emotional state to be in. And it's a pentacles card, so you're like, well, how's that an emotion? When you, when you experience nine of pentacles in your life, that is an emotional state. That is a state of sensation and feeling. Yeah. Yeah, but you're, but you're believing, your foundational beliefs are the, meh. Oh, that's just being offered to me? What is this? Uh, I could do better. Because you can't. Um, the esteem. That solar plexus energy that's to be valued and honored is an ace of pentacles. You are that ace of pentacles that any team would want to have on them, on their, on their team, you know. Whether it's kickball or whether it's, you know, a board of directors for a Fortune 500 company, it's, you are that ace, that's solid, tangible, that's that esteem, that pride, if you will. You're getting it. Um, this next one is for the heart space. A page of cups. This is the compassion that needs to be granted. Something to be forgiven, if you will. Page is youthful, naive, idealist, Probably a Pisces, maybe a Cancer. It's a water sign thing. Maybe a Scorpio. Scorpios tend to skip right over that phase because they're too cynical to be <laughs> that naive. But uh, Scorpios can be naive too. Really, they can. I almost believe that. I mean, I do. Okay, it could be a Scorpio. I don't know. Just saying. They're not even about other stuff, but emotional things here. Anyway, it's a page of cups. There's, there's something about our, around a page of cups that needs to be forgiven for you. Maybe it was you. Maybe you went into a situation all, this is going to be great. What did I do to myself? Because that's interesting that we have at the foundational beliefs, we have a four of cups. And in what needs to be forgiven, we have a page of cups. You guys see where this is going. Ah, and in the communication, whoo, the tower. <laughs> yeah, what needs to be communicated or received is that something is crumbling. Something was built on a false foundation. Ah, yeah. Intuition. It needs to be felt or observed or seen. It is an ace of swords. A bit of wisdom and a bit of knowledge. Swords are knowledge or communication. Coming in, giving you the truth. And swords are truth. Yeah, that's the intuitional space. And, um... Uh, What's, what's coming in at the crown here? What's crowning all of this from the divine? Five of swords, winning at all costs. The five of swords is about my way or the highway, I know best, take this deal because it's good for you. It's good for you. I got those pictures of you from last Christmas party. I mean, Five of Swords is like, I like it less than I like the Seven of Swords, and I don't like the Seven of Swords card very much. The Five of Swords is, it's dirty pool. It's, I've got leverage over you and I'm gonna use it to get you to do what I want you to do. The Vine's letting you know about something like that. There's something like that happening I'm in and around your circumstances here. No wonder you're dissatisfied in that Four of Cups. <sighs> but if we're in that emotional state, that 
I got everything I need, though. I'm good. I am the Ace of Pentacles. That, that could be all that you need to get through whatever this is. Because you're a Leo. And you are courageous. So the gift, so this is like a storyboard, if you will, um, this spread. It's also could be seen as the seven chakras. But it also can be a storyboard going down the line of, of uh, action, reaction, consequence, sequence, you know, happening. But there's a gift from working through this. And that gift is an ace of wands. That's what we fire signs would run on. That's that atomic energy of the sun. That's us. That's us. I'm an Aries. Sun, Leo mode. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's powerful. That ace of I that's like, wow. There is a light coming from within that card of inspiration leading to great creation. Yeah. <sighs> when you see the tower, when you hear the tower coming, when whatever this tower is, a relationship ending, a job ending, a, we gotta move kids, uh, take down the wallpaper, we gotta go. Um, Whenever this hits or comes in, if you receive it clearly in the mind and are able to embody that, you will see where this Five of Swords energy is coming from. And you'll see it clearly. That's that Ace of Swords. And that will give you this inspiration to change all of this to your to your betterment. Yeah. Mm hmm Be inspired. Be very inspired. Spirit, I want to clarify a little bit here. I haven't been Clarifying much. Like, let's switch decks up for that. Let's go to the White Sage Tarot. I'd like to clarify just a touch. At this foundational place, at the root of it, well, what more can you tell me about this Four of Cups? This offer of, man, it's meh. Am I dating myself by using that term? Because I am old, by the way. It's okay. I'm comfortable with how old I am. Hierophant. The Hierophant, a card of Taurus. Uh, typically, I'd say a card of like rules, um, but not in a Saturnian way. But orderly. We've. This is the way we do it. This is the way. Um, it's a Hierophant. Hierophant's also knowledge. Hierophant's a knowledge keeper. The Hierophant is kind of the counterpart to the High Priestess. Um, but more in a clerical, judicial sort of a way. So a priest, a cleric of, of a organized religion. Could also be uh, a university, you know, an institution. There's, there's usually an institution backing up um, this energy. But here... The fawn is sleeping and is peaceful because the fawn has the key, which is knowledge. The higher fawn is studied and learned. Almost more professor vibes or the high priestess is more witchy vibes. You know, she gets her stuff from, from source and where the higher fawn put up gets it from books. So there's something being offered from some 
border thing. And you're all meh about it and stuff. Keep using that term. Bunch of, bunch of Gen Xers watching this? Bye. Anyway, um, who, who's this? Who's this page of cups that needs to be forgiven? Or needs to be compassion brought into this situation? What's, what's this about, this page of cups action here? What more can you tell me about this? Spirit? Goddess, what do you have for me? Higher self. Lead lady. That's a lot of cards, baby. What do we got? Death. <laughs> and I said it's not a Scorpio. <laughs> it's death, the card of Scorpio. Could be a Scorpio. Um, or just a change. There's a change happening with this Page of Cups, with this youthful, emotional situation. And that would make sense moving into the tower. What more can you tell me about this tower energy? This profoundly scorpionic energy of the tower that needs to be communicated. Or it needs to be received. This communication needs to come through. Four of Cups. Okay, I see. It. I see how it's coming together. Um, what about this Ace of Swords? What's this um, insight that's going to come in? Um, and strength, card of Leo. Strength. Inner strength, inner resolve, the ability to take on a challenge. And what's this five, this five of swords um, coming in through the crown, seeing this? Because this is the challenge that's been brought about by a spirit for us to face. This is about a knight of cups, another water sign energy. More mature, but ain't no queen, ain't no king. You know, someone in their 20s, maybe. Um, early 30s, very immature, early 40s. Me? I'm, yeah, I'm not in my 40s either. I'm older than that. Uh, Ace of the Wands. It, it speaks for itself. It's an ace of the wands. I don't need to clarify an ace. Um, yeah. Neat. A knight of cups that wants to win at all costs. Needs strength. The tower. Oh, we could also be making an offer. Do you got... You got them feels for somebody? Are you thinking about making them an offer? They may not accept it. Just saying. They may not. And if they don't, that's okay. They don't have to. They should. I don't know why they wouldn't. They were Leo. But. Mm. Anyway. I want to see what um, the Power Animals Oracle has for us. Um, nature, spirits, animals, friends. What energies can Leo call on this month to help them through this storyline, this potential series of energies? Potential, it's not set in stone. What, uh, what can Leo reach out to in the animal world? What is already within them? that they have, that they can call upon, that will aid them in this. What natural energies are already there that is just going to pop up and help out? That's too many. I, I just, let's, let's stick to the one card system if we can, please. Hey, she, speak to me. What energies? Yeah, wolf energy. Guardian. You are protected. Yeah. You are safe at all times. 
That wolf energy is with you through this, helping you, guiding you, protecting you. Um, what love energy should be, could be cultivated up and served up fresh and hot for Leos to help them through this? What energy do they need to turn on? What love light? Satisfaction. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. What the other people have to say is their problem. What you have to say is your right. Satisfaction. That's you, Leo, and that's this reading. I hope you have a wonderful next month. Um, whatever this is, enjoy it. Enjoy the ride. Um, it's just a story. The energies will play out the way they need to. Um, have your inner strength. It'll get you through this. Yes, it will. You got this stuff. You got it in spades. Well, in this case, pentacles. So, peace.